welcome to Pinzi Halisi. I'm your host, Julio More. And today we have Paul and Sylvia and Jay here. And today they have such an amazing story. You know, they're just a young couple. I've seen them grow. Yeah. So they'll just tell us and encourage other people. And I know we are going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Karibu Nisana, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I know you're in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. You came all, all the place mm -hmm. just to come. Oh, God bless you. God bless yeah. you. Amen. I don't take that for granted. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. you for having us. Oh, Karibu, mm. Karibu. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us how you met Sylvia. <laughs> mm. uh, our story is very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it can only be God ordained. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in 2010, I yeah. think in 2010, mm -hmm. in 2010 I was in this relationship mm -hmm. and it was with someone who was working outside the country. Mm -hmm. He was working in Afghanistan then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the person I was dating mm -hmm. happened to be his roommate yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. in that country. Mm -hmm. So uh, how our conversation started is that this roommate Mm -hmm. would always say, do you want to say hi to my friend? Mm -hmm. And he would give him the phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think for me, for me, I think I fell in love mm -hmm. with him before mm -hmm. he fell in love, love with me him. because yeah. I was always looking forward to those <laughs> 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 so uh -huh. There was just some connection mm -hmm. that I cannot explain. Mm -hmm. But I was looking, mm -hmm. I was always looking forward for my boyfriend then mm -hmm. to call me, but mm -hmm. then not for me to speak with him, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, to speak but so to that him. he could oh. say, do you want to talk to my roommate? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, I think after talking for the first time, yeah. like mm -hmm. in six months, mm -hmm. around six months, mm -hmm. uh, the relationship did not work mm -hmm. with the roommate. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he was unfaithful mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I just broke off the relationship. Mm -hmm. And now the roommate mentioned to him mm -hmm. yeah. that we've mm -hmm. broken up. Because we were speaking at uh, we, we were speaking then. And he would tell me this is happening. Yeah. This is what is going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so did you have her number at that time? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, okay. I, so I you are just it. communicating through your friend. Yeah. Actually, and when... The friend used to give me the phone to say hi. Mm. I only used to say hi wow. mm. and finish there. I had respect for their relationship. Yeah. But the hi was very interesting because mm -hmm. there was this voice mm. that I don't know. It, there was just something, something. about him mm -hmm. that I cannot explain. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why I usually say it's divine. Mm -hmm. And he gave me time to heal. Mm -hmm. I think for another like six months, mm -hmm. and then. Fast forward, mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. in 2010, mm -hmm. he looked for me yeah. in wow. Facebook. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I started now oh. looking for her mm -hmm. and uh, wanting to know mm -hmm. how is she, is she okay, what happened and all that. Because now there was no that opportunity to say hi. <laughs> it ended. <laughs> and I didn't have the number. No, 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 oh. I didn't. He didn't ask the friend the number. Mm. So when he reached out on Facebook, mm. he told me he was coming for holiday mm -hmm. in December, uh -huh. 2020, 2010, uh -huh. December. 2010, uh -huh. <laughs> He didn't look for me and I was very heartbroken. Oh. Like I thought he would come and oh he would no. be excited to meet me. He did yeah, not. He did and not. I was so, so heartbroken. Mm -hmm. but Why I did not is because to, to me we were friends. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for her just that friendship. Yeah, how is she and all that. We were friends. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come and meet her as a friend and know how exactly yeah. so i didn't meet i had my own plans and yeah. my own things i think it slept off the mind and you had a girlfriend also. yeah and i had a girlfriend yeah, yeah i had a yeah. girlfriend yeah so mm -hmm. i was very heartbroken to mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. he was looking out for me like a small sister mm -hmm. like a friend but to me i saw ahead i mm -hmm. saw like this is the guy i want mm -hmm. so when he didn't call me in mm -hmm. that 2010 i was very heartbroken oh, mm -hmm. i was very heartbroken mm -hmm. and i just remember i why i asked god kwanina to patangi the people we want mm -hmm. you know and uh, uh, fast forward i think in april mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. now he looked for me. Yeah, wow. he came for real now. Yeah, yes. now I came for 
for vacation again and now i looked for her because i had broken uh, our relationship with my previous also girlfriend ended and she seemed a good girl so i made an effort this time i wanted to know who she really is yeah yeah and during that period mm -hmm. b before him coming you mm -hmm. also were in communication now mm -hmm. and he had gotten my number mm -hmm. and it seemed like there was now something that is developing mm -hmm. although mm -hmm. online through mm -hmm. facebook, facebook but it yeah. seemed like there was something that was developing mm -hmm. now when we met remember all this time we've not met yeah so when we met around april mm -hmm. like sparks just mm. flew off did you like like when you saw her for the first did you like like her yeah oh you did it was instant like this because oh. she told me where to go and pick her mm -hmm. and i remember seeing her coming mm -hmm. you know these indian movies mm -hmm. i would see like now this is a uh, maria something <laughs> coming and i was like wow uh -huh. that is my wife because I remember when we went to where my, now the boys were, mm -hmm. I, 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 I told them, mm -hmm. meet my wife. And I told her, I will marry you. The first day. The first yes. day. Mm -hmm. The first day we met, yes. mm -hmm. he said, you are my wife mm -hmm. and I will marry you. Wow. Yes. How did you feel? Excited. Because wow. you mm -hmm. see... Well, when people are with their friends, mm. they, they are pretentious, mm. they don't want to affirm the relationship because maybe they know you, mm. what kind of a person you are. Mm. And again, but you don't know what your friends are going to say. Yes. And you are like, ah, and the way I've invested here, now the, what is this? So you're cautious, you'll play, but I was, definitely, I saw her and knew this is my wife. Wow. Yeah, wow. he was very confident about it. Actually, to add on that, Julia, mm -hmm. Let me just say this because I know it confuses a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You will get when you're born again, you're told to go pray and the Lord will give you. Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, uh, acknowledging those who get into marriage before, uh, because we are not supposed to enter into marriage without, you know, praying and all that. There is a way that God connected us even before mm -hmm. to me the way people go and pray in cataloni in heaven's gate for a wife mm -hmm. and you're directed or a wife goes and plays for the husband that direct, that happened to me mm -hmm. because i now understand mm -hmm. what the bible says that i knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb god knew that she's my wife mm -hmm. so these other they fell at a unajua yeah then yeah come so it was a divine connection i couldn't see it then because i was of the flesh yeah. i was not born again mm -hmm. but i've been in salvation and i've come to know that that is what happened wow. yeah yeah and then the next time he came for holiday was in july mm -hmm. and he was but now you are communicating yes, yes. now we are already dating yeah. we've decided now mm -hmm. this is it we are mm -hmm. together in april mm -hmm. and now when he came in july he was like i have to go meet your parents like our wow. our relationship i love your maturity <laughs> like not yeah. so many men yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they they beat about the bush the beach, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to be honest when i said this to my friends they said me kwanza wacha umjue mge ball ujue kama unajua you know this this rider that men put that awezi uh, peleka gari bila kuitest lazima itestiwe kwanza i had all those things being told to me but i had made this decision about her yes i love that and you are not even saved at that time yes yes, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, in july he went to my parents yeah. oh. I was very young then I was 22 mm -hmm. years old mm -hmm. I was in my last year of college mm -hmm. but my parents were like this is this guy looks responsible yeah. this mm -hmm. guy looks like he loves you mm -hmm. so they gave us another day for Horatio mm -hmm. which was December yeah. the same mm -hmm. year 2011 mm -hmm. and he went mm -hmm. and he paid and my you dowry like the parents were they walikusumbua ama it was no Oh. They didn't. Oh. And then, you know, I was working then mm -hmm. and I at least had saved a little mm -hmm. bit and uh, I knew what happens. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I'm very friendly with my parents. Mm -hmm. So we had talked. Mm -hmm. 
and my parents had told me that uh, in now in my mother tongue that this is what happens you must go and do this so i had that idea in my mind and when i was working i won't i was saving mm -hmm. so that i can accomplish this that i've been told mm -hmm. by my parents mm -hmm. because i could see something in my parents my, don't forget my parents were born again mm -hmm. so i would see something in them that i wanted to be replicated in our marriage mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. then i was not married wow. i was I not saved, saved yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. So we had a beautiful ratio mm -hmm. and then I was given up now mm -hmm. for marriage. Mm -hmm. So we started living together yeah. mm -hmm. that year in 2011 mm -hmm. and we've been together since. Wow. To me kuana to me rudiana but the grace of God has kept us. Na hizo ndio tunataka kusikia zote. Tuko hapa juu ya penzi. Hiyo unajua penzi halisi ni ile you know true love. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I really thank God for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and how was life, you know, when you're not, when you're not saved, you're staying together. You know, when you did your wedding, you didn't have to do it. No, no, no. Uh, so, really imagine. Hey, it's been difficult. Mm -hmm. People would want to lie mm -hmm. and tell you different things. Mm -hmm. But I want to be honest. Wow. Because I want to wow. heal a marriage. Yes. It was not easy. Mm -hmm. Because I would go drink. I'd go have other relationships. Mm -hmm. I would do things that are not godly. Mm -hmm. And I would regret. Mm -hmm. And all this burden would go back to my wife. I remember there is a day it reached and it was over for her and she packed everything. And I didn't even care. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And she went and left me mm -hmm. for almost two years. We were separated for two years. Wow. Wow. And now that is when God came calling in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is how my salvation beat came in. But let's go back mm -hmm. and say that uh, it's not, you are not comfortable. You would think that this is the thing. Yeah. That in your life, you would go party, mm -hmm. you will take your life fiance with you your wife then you and do all those things were you going like together drinking at times we would uh -huh. then here at aboeka uh, because now i'm the one introducing this life uh, to, her. to her and i have kitu kidogo i have a little bit of <laughs> savings here and there i'm working and the the job then in afghanistan was well paid it wasn't kidogo it, it was, was a lot it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot, <laughs> was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am not <laughs> a party person mm. Mm. So uh, as much as I wanted as much as I wanted to spend time with him mm -hmm. it would reach a point in my fika midnight mm -hmm. I just want to go oh, home yeah. I want to go sleep the funny mm. thing is he would drop me home and then he goes back he yeah. goes back what? it was Ill. that life was very yeah. sweet at nimemfikisha home sasa mimi nimerudi kubugi it it wasn't an interesting marriage for me. Mm -hmm. There was a time I used to ask God, what did I sign myself so, into? Yeah. Because now he was mm -hmm. working abroad then, so mm -hmm. he would be here three months. He would mm -hmm. be here in April, mm -hmm. he would be here in August mm -hmm. and December. Mm -hmm. And then it's just 21 days. Mm -hmm. Then those 21 days, like uh, maybe 15 yeah. out of those 21 days, Ukona he's friends, out drinking. drinking. Uh -huh. So I just felt like I was just a symbol, like mm. you know. And I remember there was a time I used to have a small business, mm -hmm. and he would and come in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm going mm. to the small mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So like i felt this is not what marriage is mm -hmm. is meant to be mm -hmm. this is not what marriage. and i used to cry to god mm -hmm. as much as i wasn't born again mm -hmm. i wasn't born again then mm -hmm. uh i used to go to church mm -hmm. every sunday mm -hmm. i hadn't understood what salvation mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. is because yeah. through to me okokamara mob every mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. high school you've mm -hmm. been saved 101 times mm -hmm. but then i hadn't really understood what salvation is but mm -hmm. i used to cry to god and i used mm -hmm. to tell him ah this is not what i signed up for mm -hmm. and sometimes i would cast that money Oh. You know the way you, you're supposed to be happy, mm. like your husband is earning a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. To me, 
mm. there was no joy. You mm -hmm. see the way the people say that money is not happiness. Mm. It really is not happiness. Wow. If you have wow. that money without Christ, wow. you wow. live a terrible life. Because he had mm. all the money. that, mm -hmm. Like he would tell me, ah, mm. let's go to Zanzibar for a holiday. Mm. And you go there. Wow. And, but then you are happy for a week. Mm -hmm. the, the time that you are with, with him. him yeah. But then after that, mm. it's just drinking after drinking, patting mm. after patting. Mm. And I just felt this is not what marriage mm -hmm. is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And at that time, let me ask you, Paul, what was your... You know, I know your yeah. mom so well. What was she saying, you know, telling you, and especially when she left? You know now, like, my mom is the reconciler here. Yeah, yeah. I remember there is a time we went to Mombasa and we fought, and she beat me here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was violence, like, wow. Violence, uh, it has reached even now to a place of violence. Mm. Because everything would happen and I would find a way of getting off it. Mm. Buy a gift, mm. buy earrings, mm. buy a cologne, mm. buy shoes. Mm. So you think that you're healing your marriage, yeah. but you're damaging it. Mm -hmm. And always my mom will tell me, mm. watch a pombe. Mm. You are, even before mm. we separated, mm. my mom would see these signs mm. and would be like, you need now to stop. You need to do this. Mm. You need to, you know, mm. man Thank up. God for our yes, you know, actually, mm. I would mm. not take my parents for granted, mm. not even for a minute. Mm. They have been, the the they say the the, the pillar. yeah the pillar mm. and the voice, mm -hmm. the sober voice mm -hmm. in my marriage. They have been the sober voice because tunge pigana, tunge fanya nini, and and then yeah, and I end up being a mother. So mother would, my mom would pray, would sympathize, would pray, would pray and pray and then come and tell me, but me, I'm like, I'm like, uh, ah, mom, ni, 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 si tuko tu sawa, mi nathani tuko sawa. Eh, hey, but it was not sawa. It was not, our marriage was pathetic. Because, sasa, ata, vitu zingine zinaingia kwa, kwa marriage, sio, sio godly. Eh. Hey. Did you ever like one day like pia wewe una akikuumu uko na mchapa? Eh, hey, hata ku hata kuna siku ndio sasa amwe kuenda. Mm. I almost slapped her. Almost. Yeah, almost. Let me say my husband mm, has almost. never been violent mm. to me. Mm. Actually, that time that I beat him. Mm. I, I beat him because mm. he's very tall. Oh, yeah. Now the only place I could reach him was his tummy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember mm. we had a fight and mm. we had gone for holiday mm -hmm. in Malindi. Mm -hmm. We had a fight. Mm -hmm. And I remember mm. the fight was so uh, it was across the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The fight was so agitated mm. that I was I don't know what came over me mm. and I took I think I think it's a glass. A plate. I think it's a plate mm. and I threw it across mm. the table. Mm -hmm. Now, on throwing it across the table, he, now that's when he stood up mm. and was like, why are you throwing the table? Mm. Really? And then I got afraid. Mm. Now, because he's tall, I beat him off <laughs> <laughs> and ran away mm. and ran away and mm. I went outside. Mm. But in all those things, what mm. I can say is mm. the, there were times that you, I provoked him. Mm. I don't want to say mm. that as much as he was doing all those things, mm. there is an attitude that mm -hmm. you can have. Mm -hmm. There is a way that you can communicate mm -hmm. that will make even... The Bible says our actions mm -hmm. can make our spouses Ourselves. come to mm -hmm. Christ. It's true. Now the problem with me is mm. that... I, re I was reactive. Mm -hmm. I was reactive. Mm -hmm. And I thought the only way to get this attention mm -hmm. that I'm craving for mm -hmm. is being violent, mm -hmm. is being uh, rude, mm -hmm. is not doing my wifely duties. Mm -hmm. There were times I was like, I will not cook. cook yeah. I will not do anything mm -hmm. in this house. Mm -hmm. And I will be on TV the whole day. Mm -hmm. You see, that's not the attitude of a wife. wife yeah. uh, of a wife. Mm -hmm. Especially of mm -hmm. a wife who wants mm -hmm. to turn over mm -hmm. the husband because mm -hmm. by your good deeds mm -hmm. by your humility he'll yeah. come yeah. Yeah. so i was as much as he was mm -hmm. in that extreme of mm -hmm. parting mm -hmm. my reaction mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. drove him further wow. away it played a, a, a very big vital role mm -hmm. because you come you find there's no food mm -hmm. i'll go put nyama mm -hmm. then nyama would lead to one bottle mm -hmm. then it will lead to me coming at 3 a.m in the morning yeah. you yes. see 
and I remember what broke our marriage is. Mm. You know, God, God, God gives women some intuitions mm -hmm, that we mm -hmm. can. I used to tell him, mm. you, there's a certain girl. Mm -hmm. I used to tell him, that girl likes you. Mm. That girl likes you. Mm. And he would say, mm -mm, uh, you are, you are imagining. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm. this girl, we mm. grew up together. Mm. We are friends. There is nothing. Sasa mm. ni mm. mtu tuli grow up. Oh, no. She's like my sister. Mm. And I was like, no. Mm. As much as you grew up together, there, there is something. something. There is something. Mm -hmm. This girl, mm -hmm. kuna venye anakutaka. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. Mm -hmm. He cheated fact, with that lady. She, the, the, the lady is the reason that we separated. Oh. Because uh, the lady used a weakness of yeah. hers mm. to get to her and to me. Yes. Because now the lady said that mm. she's pregnant with my, uh, uh -huh. with my child. child. And I, because I had slept with her, mm -hmm. I knew yeah, that mm -hmm. is, possible. is possible. Mm -hmm. Then her, knowing her status, mm -hmm. felt like after all this, you have done this for me. Because I cannot bear you children. Mm -hmm. You have decided to cheat on me. And you see, now that is the devil wow. working. The devil in play. Because the word of God says in John 10, 10, that I come to steal, to kill and destroy he will steal what is yours he will destroy you then the, fi the finale is to kill you and that is what only uh, 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 gives the devil you know now he's, he's uh, a room for doing everything so to come to know is that she was not even pregnant she, she, she cheated to get into this marriage you see how the devil is a liar yeah, and you know he just comes to kill our yes. destinies yes and and just to destroy what you know what yeah. what what you know, he knows you yes. know you know and the funny thing is that the devil does not destroy what he doesn't see yes and he knew there was a purpose a plan mm -hmm. and he wanted to come and destroy and, yes. and grab it yeah. and tear yeah. it yeah. apart yes. yeah. yeah yeah we'll take a short mm -hmm. break and we'll just be right back after the break thank yeah. you mm. Today we have Paul and, and Sylvia. Wow, your story is just so amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's it's always good to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, people think that, you know, this other world when you're not saved and you're married, mm -hmm. it's, it's just smooth, you know, mm -hmm. like smooth mm -hmm. life and everything. But I thank God the way you're opening up and I know marriages will be healed because Amen. of that. Yeah. Amen. So we can continue now. Like you left, actually you left. So you. I didn't mm. leave immediately. Mm -hmm. I, I just remember uh, I found out chats. Mm -hmm. uh, our marriage was very okay before mm -hmm. that. As much as we had issues, mm -hmm. I had never thought of leaving my marriage. Mm -hmm. I knew uh, God will redeem him mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. God will redeem him. God will change him. I mm -hmm. had that faith. Mm -hmm. But then now the final straw mm -hmm. is that we had tried to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. By then it was five years mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now comes a woman mm -hmm. who's, who is saying that mm -hmm. she's pregnant mm -hmm. and she's pregnant for my husband. Mm -hmm. That's how I find actually I had hidden it from me. Mm -hmm. I find out I found out from their text messages. Mm -hmm. And now I felt this is it. After mm -hmm. going all through this, the drinking, mm -hmm. the mother row, the, the coming time. in the mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. I knew I would persevere all those things. Mm -hmm. But then him getting a child mm -hmm. out of wedlock mm -hmm. while I don't have a child, mm -hmm. I thought now this was over for mm -hmm. me. Because it was hurting mm -hmm. for me. Like mm -hmm. now someone else from outside is mm -hmm. bearing you a child mm -hmm. of which I can't mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. I, I can't at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it was a challenging time. And mm -hmm. I remember I just packed my things. Mm -hmm. I didn't pack his things. 
Ah, you're so I, Yes, yeah, I just nice. packed my clothes mm -hmm. and a few utensils. Mm -hmm. And I remember just going to a bed sitter and... Oh, you didn't go back home? No, I didn't go back home. Oh. I, I didn't... I, I felt the shame of mm. a broken marriage. Mm. Like, my marriage was so flamboyant. Mm. Like, the Russia, there was like a hundred mm. fleets mm. of cars. Mm. Friends have come. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't want that shame of mm -hmm. going back to Shags. Mm -hmm. And I knew uh, I just wanted to stay around. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I, I got a bed sitter, mm -hmm. I think in Ruaka, yeah. it was mm -hmm. in Ruaka, mm -hmm. and I started figuring out my life. But then mm -hmm. now the devil is mm -hmm. very interesting, mm -hmm. because now, mm -hmm. I remember I got married very early, uh, mm -hmm. I was only 22 years old, mm -hmm. but then now when we were breaking up, I was around 27 years old, mm -hmm. I was like now... I'm single. Yeah. I'm single. Yeah. And, and ready then to mingle. And ready to mingle. <laughs> so uh, I tried going out mm -hmm. with other people, mm -hmm. but there was no joy. Mm -hmm. There was no satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I would go out. People would take me to clubs. Mm. There was just something. You know the way the Lord wants to mm. draw you pole, pole, mm. pole, pole. Mm. Like I had no interest mm -hmm. in those things. Actually, mm -hmm. I would meet up a guy. Like there was a guy I tried to date. Mm -hmm. And uh, the following morning, mm. I would be full of regret. Mm. Like, there was no joy mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And I stayed, like, after we separated for almost one and a half years, mm -hmm. going to two years. Mm -hmm. And I remember I stayed for, like, one year. Mm -hmm. And then now the other half of the year, mm. I gave my life to Christ. Wow. I was like, even if I don't get my marriage back, mm -hmm. I, I just want to live for Christ. Mm -hmm. I just want to... Yeah, there was that joy mm -hmm. in salvation. Mm -hmm. I would just stay in the room and mm -hmm. read the word. Mm -hmm. And God encouraged me at that time. And mm -hmm. I, I remember God telling me he will restore my marriage. Wow. And he did. Mm -hmm. And he did. But my only, my only, what do we call it? What do we call it? Only. No, my only ultimatum mm -hmm. for getting my marriage back mm -hmm. was like, I'll get back with my husband mm -hmm. if I hear he's not drinking again. Oh, That was the only... The, the drinking had gotten at all and it had destroyed everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when this is happening on this other yeah, side, now this other side, I've lost my job. Oh. So now God is hunting me. Mm -hmm. I've lost my job. Mm -hmm. I am now starting to, there is no money. Mm -hmm. Your friends have gone. Mm -hmm. Now you're like, what? So it was vanity. Mm -hmm. When they say vanity, <laughs> vanity, vanity, it is real. Mm -hmm. Because now the money was mm -hmm. out of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't have this job. And it was a good paying job. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to live here to pay rent. Mm -hmm. It's becoming difficult. Mm -hmm. So I started having challenges. I started even drinking cheap alcohol, you know, so that I can sustain that. I can uh, drink myself out of the worries that I had. But I, I didn't know that God was directing me to being born again. You see, when we started, I said that it was ordained of God. So God had a purpose of us being together. And I remember I got a job uh, in, uh, in a very funny way with another company and I found a brother in that company who was born again mm -hmm. and this brother was younger than me by far mm -hmm. and I was like you're married mm -hmm. you're born again mm -hmm. you're okay mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't yeah. take mira. mira you yeah. don't drink yeah. you don't smoke yeah. and you're okay <laughs> how <laughs> and all of my life I've grown knowing that it's for you to be sustained in this life mm -hmm. you need to drink to do siju inini kumbe ni uongo ya shaitani that is how the the devil has sold uh, that lie to many people so when i this is uh, he's my best friend and a mentor to me in a way and i started he took me to a church in town where he ministers and i changed my life now i'm working eh it's not a good paying job but i've stooped low and said now God, take control. As I was starting to work and now I'm born again, I've given my... Now this is true story. You, you, you are born again and you go and take alcohol. No, I got born again. Serious. 
and I started going to Cataloni to fast and pray because of our marriage. Mm -hmm. Because the pastor was insisting, you need to go back to your wife. Mm -hmm. And me, when I'm going to pray, I'm just telling God, you restore. Mm -hmm. There is nothing me I can do. You do. Mm -hmm. And that is how we came to be reconciled. You didn't like block each other. How did no. you get? Ha, the funny <laughs> thing is, <laughs> we had broken up and we were friends. Yeah. You are still talking. Yeah. I don't imagine. Yeah. And I would be, I would be given a hold of how her life is, wherever she is. I had that kakujua, what is going on? Yeah, what is? I'm a patachali because that was my worry. I'm a patachali mingine la move. So, nikiski haja move on. I was so excited, knowing that. Uh, at least God will restore. God is <laughs> going to do something. Our separation mm. is very funny because mm. if you would even call me and mm. call me and you are separated, mm. people gonna punch. Do uh, you yeah. have 500 shillings you sent me? Yeah. And I'm to me, uh, the following day yeah. or maybe a week later, uh, now it's me. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's because you are fast friends. Mm -hmm. So even mm -hmm. when we broke up, we broke up in terms of the relationship. relationship yeah. The relationship, mm -hmm. like we mm -hmm. cannot be together, mm -hmm. but the friendship remained. Mm -hmm. As much as he had hurt me, mm -hmm. the funniest thing is that our friendship has never wow. died, even wow. when we were separated. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, let me say this, let me just put a rider. Mm -hmm. Our parents played a very big role. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, there are many people who complain about uh, mm -hmm. in-laws. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have in-laws. Mm -hmm. I, I have in-loves. Yeah. You know, like yeah. mm -hmm. my mother-in-law has never stood on his side mm -hmm. and said at ni mtoto wangu yeah. ati you, you know ishi venye mnataka. You know, mm -hmm. She has never. Mm. My mother-in-law has always stood up by the truth. Mm. And sh whenever I would go, it's not advisable mm. to go to parents. Later, I found out that, like, you first go to a best couple, mm. then go to a to a mm. to a to a pastor mm. then go to a parent mm. but then now we were not born mm. again so yes. we did not have this understanding mm. so all my issues i would pour out on my mother-in-law never a day did mm. she put a blame on me mm. she would always say that we shall pray mm. she would always say that she shall talk to the son yeah. she would mm. always try to reconcile us mm. even when i was mm. separating with him she was like no no don't leave your marriage. Yeah. You're giving a room for the yeah, enemy. Yeah. She's amazing. Mm. It's she's such have, a beautiful woman. You yes. know, we grew up together. She's yes. still the same until yes. now. Yes. She's yes. still yes. the same. She yeah. has been an anchor and mm -hmm. uh, that big support mm -hmm. in our marriage mm -hmm. together with our dad. Mm -hmm. He's also now born again. Mm -hmm. And I just have the best parents Amen. ever. Amen. And what this lesson has taught me mm. is. Uh, one day mm. I'll be maybe a mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Why do we treat other people's people children? children? Yeah, you, yeah. The, your child will be treated mm -hmm. the, the same. same, the same you know. You yeah. So I, I mm. just want to say hats off to her. Mm -hmm. She's been amazing. She mm -hmm. still guides us. Mm -hmm. She still prays for us. Amen. She has mm -hmm. always stood by the truth. Mm -hmm. She's always mm -hmm. stood by the mm -hmm. truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now this lady who said that she got pregnant. <laughs> Now I've <laughs> left my marriage uh -huh. for one and a half years, uh -huh. but I think even mm -hmm. the separation was God ordained. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it that you can also it you helped see, us. You yes. all went mm -hmm. yes. different sides, yes. Yes. and you also met Christ. Yes, not be yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, mm -hmm. because I found Christ at that mm -hmm. time. I don't think mm -hmm. if if we were together, mm -hmm. I could have gotten born again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God atakutafuta mm -hmm. out of adversity and pain mm -hmm. and then you have nowhere else to go mm -hmm. and you just have to pour your heart to wow. God. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happens to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then now we found out that mm -hmm. the lady was not even pregnant. Mm -hmm. She was not even, she has never been pregnant. Actually, she was, he was given a photo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was given, he was child mm. and then he posted yeah. proudly mm. on facebook mm. of his daughter mm -hmm. because he was told this is his daughter mm. and then someone asked him why are you posting my child mm. the cousin to the lady why are you posting my child wow. 
So when my mother-in-law went to the home of this lady, the mother told her, my daughter has never been pregnant, mm. ever. Mm. So it was just a door mm. for the enemy to, to enter our in. marriage. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for her. If mm -hmm. it weren't for her, we would not be where we yeah, are today. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes mm. it's how you take the temptation and the, the mm. tribulations and the hard times mm -hmm. if you take them positively you'll mm. be able to grow out of them mm -hmm. because what that separation did to my to my marriage is something mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. my husband is very interesting you see the way you get born again mm -hmm. and then now you are there are levels mm. there are levels mm. like leo mm. you've stopped drinking mm. tomorrow uh, mm. after a month i will stop smoking mm. i'll stop watching bad movies mm. after i mm. an year mm -hmm. for him it was a 360 mm. degree turnaround Change. it was wow. a calling mm. it was it was, mm. it was calling. constant mm. yeah. you know like instant mm. instantly mm. like he I, I used to ask him do you miss taking cigarettes mm. no mm. do you miss taking alcohol mimi bado na na miss wine nini namwambia ah I nana miss wine leo mm. and then he's like ay me uko nilitoka nilitoka mm. it was a 360 mm. degrees mm. turn around mm. so even when he came mm. that he wants us to reconcile mm -hmm. i was like now this is a changed Change man, man. Mm. this is a changed mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. and now we were able to start from there from and there. Mm. we went through premarital counseling as much as I we were married that, actually yeah. our pastor mm. was saying it's premarital it is uh, and you know is yeah, one it's the anchor of a marriage i i pity people who enter into marriage and they don't have premarital mm -hmm. that's where the basis now is you've been told what to do and everything mm -hmm. and i would advise people if you want to get into marriage because marriage is beautiful mm -hmm. and marriage works mm -hmm. first of all find a pastor that can go through premarital uh, counseling with you so you know the pros the cons so you know what you're getting into mm -hmm. you know the problem is people get into marriage mm -hmm. they don't know what they have signed for like what we, you did. we did then mm -hmm. later on mm -hmm. you want to separate or divorce mm -hmm. and the bible clearly states mm -hmm that people should not mm -hmm. uh, uh, God divorce yeah. Yeah. yeah god hates divorce mm -hmm. divorce is uh, so even me when we separated mm -hmm. nilikuwa i was fearing for the day that she'll say that i want us to divorce and you know you yeah. mm -hmm. because i know my parents have taught this to me and it has entered mm -hmm. so to me it was a turn around mm -hmm. and when i turned around and now started this life of salvation i reached her and i told her and we looked for a house we went to to live together and now we started rechanging the things the wrongs that we had made and i remember when i just proclaimed that our wedding shall be in december mm -hmm. i lost my job mm -hmm. so you see the devil is fighting us it and has been fighting us for a very long time every time we make amends and we are moving forward the devil wants to come to kill and to steal and to destroy the devil doesn't want people to know that marriages work wow. marriages do wow. work Amen. julia Amen. they do work Amen. Amen. and there is no room for divorce mm -hmm. nowhere in the bible it says that mm -hmm. remember you know people like quoting matthew 19 where the bible says that <laughs> what yeah. of what of why did Mo moses say that we can give a certificate mm. don't forget the pharisees wanted to trick mm. jesus. jesus because they know the truth mm -hmm. that the bible says that there is no divorce mm -hmm. so this was just a a trap, a trap. to snare the 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 the, the marriage thing mm. and god was straightforward mm -hmm. in the beginning mm -hmm. there was no word of divorce you shall leave your mother and your father and be joined and be one thing yes you see so that is where there is a contention and there are so many people we also sometimes <laughs> i have a different view my wife has a different view for that but that is for another day that is not for today <laughs> oh now let me ask you now you know 
and you actually had a very very beautiful wedding thank very you. lovely i really thank loved you. it it was thank so you. beautiful and i thank god that you're together mm -hmm. you're you're so loving and and one thing i admire about you guys is the love you have for god mm -hmm. it is so amazing mm -hmm. so amazing and again i want to ask you what are the challenges you're going through like now you've stayed for 10 years without a child mm -hmm. and you know our society you know and our culture also how 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 are you going through it you know pressure mm. here and here. You'll be branded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. You'll be branded, yeah. Julia. Yeah. You'll be branded. Yeah. 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 You know, people will talk. Yeah. Yeah. And for the 10 years that we have been together, mm -hmm. we have grown thick skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, we know the promises of the word of God. Amen. The word of God says in the book of Exodus 23 that uh, none of your children shall miscarry mm -hmm. or be without children. Mm -hmm. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. You stand with it. You know, the problem is you, you, you don't put faith in the promises, promises. of God. Mm -hmm. So you lack, them, you lack those promises. So we know mm -hmm. we shall have children. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of when. Mm -hmm. It's 10 years, yes. And this 10 years has been a 10 year of challenges. Mm -hmm. The best part of it is our parents are born again. So there is no pressure from mm -hmm. that quarter. Now let's move to this other quarter. <laughs> now our, you know, friends, our aunties, our uncles, our cousins, it grows, it continues to grow, even church members. Yes, yes. People will speak and tell you, oh, why are you with a barren woman? You are a man of God. Why, you know, so many things. But we always, our challenges is we pray through all this, whatever is coming in our way. Sometimes, you know, it's good to be honest, mm. and I will not lie, mm -hmm. it, there are times it hits, mm -hmm. sir, yeah. and you feel so, you, are, you would want to, you would want to ask God, mm -hmm. why don't we have children? Mm -hmm. We cry, sometimes we hold hands, mm -hmm. hands with my wife and we are crying and we are asking, mm -hmm. and, but we have learned to constantly put our trust in God no matter what and I would like to, like to urge people who are there outside and they are married and maybe they are two years five years four years 30 years God is still faithful Amen. Amen. God shall give a miracle Amen. Amen. when the time is right mm -hmm. you know the Bible says that uh, Malachi mm -hmm. that you are joined with your wife so that you can give a godly offspring, offspring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that will happen mm -hmm. it is a promise mm -hmm. julia let's not forget mm -hmm. yes it's a yes, promise yes. so it will happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. abraham and uh, sarah mm -hmm. had to be as though dead mm -hmm. for that miracle to happen mm -hmm. always when we have questions i tell my wife mm -hmm. may we be as dead as Abraham and Sarah, and we'll touch our Amen. miracle. Amen. And I love the way Psalms 128 says that our our mothers, you know, our wombs are blessed, Amen. and we shall give children, Amen. Amen. and our children will, you know, Amen. you'll see your children's children. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's, and again, people, let us be sensitive. Yes. Let us always be sensitive yes. to people. You know, there are some things you tell people and it's not even their fault. Yes. It's not even that they want. If they wanted, they could even have 10 or mm. 5 children. Yes. I, I think even at this time, even the church, we should even take time and pray for yes. them instead of talking yes. things that will hurt her, yes. things that will do this. Mm. It's an opportunity that God even has given mm. to you even to be a blessing unto them and to stand yes. with them in prayers yes. and to pray with them. Yes. pressure. Don't be pressured with people. Actually, yeah. Actually yeah. Yeah. you have said a mm. very important mm. thing. Instead of being busy, mm. talking, talking about pray. 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 Yeah. God has given you that opportunity. Mm. You have seen a need, mm. pray for it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. The greatest challenge mm -hmm. in this journey mm -hmm. is people thinking that it's optional. Yeah, can you imagine? Like I've just decided not to have, have kids. Children. <laughs> So I'm, so, I'm, so much, I'm so much I'm so much into fashion yeah. so some people think oh na takatuku slay you yeah. just want to continue slaying you know yeah, and, and uh, I don't know. yeah and then mm. some people will give unsolicited advices sijui mm. kula nini kula njugu do this do mm. this mm. uh 
when when a couple is going through mm -hmm. infertility mm -hmm. believe you me in mm -hmm. most instances they mm -hmm. have gone to seek for help oh yes oh, they have yes. gone to they seek for help mm -hmm. they know what mm -hmm. is ailing them mm -hmm. like for us if i can be open about it mm -hmm. it's uh, double blocked tubes mm -hmm. double blocked tubes mm -hmm. and then now when the doctors uh, uh, they give you a solution mm -hmm. they are always giving you probabilities mm -hmm. like I remember the first time the doctor said we should do surgery mm -hmm. to open the womb, mm -hmm. uh, the tubes. The tube, yeah. yeah, and then I asked him, if I open the tubes, will mm -hmm. I get That's a child? child. Yeah. And then he's like, there is a 30% chance. Yeah. So, getting a child. imagine that person, percent. and you've been operated. Yes, mm -hmm. and I already have issues with mm -hmm. my back, then mm -hmm. I have to go under the knife. Mm -hmm. So, it, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. There are other options. You know, people will come with issues of mm -hmm. Uh, do IVF? Yeah. Mm. Do IVF? As Christians, I, okay, I don't want to say as Christians. Mm -hmm. As a couple, yes. we have issues mm -hmm. with IVF mm -hmm. because and and I and I I, I know mm -hmm. there are many Christians who have undergone IVF mm -hmm. and they have gotten a ch child. Mm -hmm. Good for them. Mm -hmm. But for us, mm -hmm. we've decided we'll hold on on IVF because mm -hmm. we have integrity issues mm -hmm. with IVF. Mm -hmm. Because now what they explained to us is mm -hmm. in the process of IVF, mm -hmm. they remove the eggs and then they they will then they will they will fertilize mm -hmm. the baby outside the womb. Mm -hmm. But what they usually do is mm -hmm they extract many eggs wow. they will not extract one, one egg, egg. They will extract because of the again there are always also po possibilities Probably. and probabilities yes. that maybe 50 percent or 60 yes. percent of the eggs removed mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. will be a seed you see yes so what happens if you remove five eggs mm -hmm. what happens if yes. one is what happens to the four? So they have extracted ten eggs. Mm -hmm. They have been put in me five. Mm -hmm. So that's why most people who do IVF get multiple children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe two will attach, mm -hmm. but then they are remaining those five mm -hmm. outside there. Mm -hmm. Now the issue is, what do you do with the five? Five of them. What do you do with the five? Mm -hmm. Nimepata triplets. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Done and dusted. I'm done. <laughs> so what happens to the other fertilized mm -hmm. eggs? You mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. they are destroyed. Mm -hmm. And this is already a child mm -hmm. that is fertilized. Mm -hmm. So in short, you've done abortion. Mm -hmm. You've killed. Mm -hmm. And we don't have an issue with abortion, but we said we will wait until we get a Christian doctor we mm -hmm. can trust. Amen. Like, can you remove two mm -hmm. ovums? Mm -hmm. Can you implant two ovums? Mm -hmm. Do you have that integrity mm -hmm. to do that? You mm -hmm. know, people are always giving us suggestions on mm -hmm. what we do. Believe you me, people facing infertility, they know. Mm -hmm. They know their next step. Mm -hmm. They know what they ought to do. Mm -hmm. Please do not give unsolicited advices. Oh, yes. Please oh, yes. do not oh, yes. ask questions. Mm -hmm. Just pray. Amen. Just pray. Just, Just pray. pray. Yeah. Yeah. And God is faithful. Yes. He will Amen. come through. Never Amen. give up. Amen. In this life, when you are alive, don't ever give up. Amen. And the things that you've gone through, mm. it shows that the devil knows mm. there is so much great destiny ahead. Mm. And next time when you come, mm -hmm. to talk a testimony, a twist, Amen. It will be Amen. so wonderful. Amen. So wonderful. Amen. So thank you, thank you so much for coming. Thank time is so not much. on our side. Okay. And it really go so fast. So mm -hmm. next time I'll I'll be calling you guys mm -hmm. so to give a testimony Amen. of your children. Amen. And so don't worry Amen. about it. And keep believing, Amen. keep having faith. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching Pinzi Halisi. I'm your host Julio More and today we had such an amazing time with Paul and Sylvia. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.